people here, when they hear of ping pong, they will think of it as a very leisurely thing when they're with friends, like something to pass time. But we won't think of it in such high importance that it's something that can be used to enhance diplomatic relations. This passion for this one sport can really help bring people together. It could help bridge and help connect people across the world. In 1971, the U.S. ping pong team got a surprise invitation to visit China, which is very unusual because at that point, the United States and China had almost zero contact at any level. Obviously, our relationship with China today is much different from 50 years ago when we didn't even have a, a relationship. That um, is bridging both China and America together, bridging two countries together. It's like this is a great way to experience a new culture that I've never really been exposed to before. This is going to be really exciting just for a couple of weeks to go over and get to interact with students who, again, you wouldn't see or interact with. I'm hoping to um, make new friends and play some great table tennis. The Forbidden City is really big, it's really grand, and it stands out from the city. It's a stark contrast in a good way, in a fantastic way. It's gorgeous. I, I've seen historical sites before, but nothing with so much color. Um, the dragons are also amazing, and someone told me that the Year of the Dragon is actually coming up. So cool to see what I've seen in history books come alive um, and actually be standing here today. So I'm, I'm really grateful for the opportunity to be here. Architecture and the symbolism of all the dragons and the gold everywhere. It's, it's unbelievable how they were able to like build this. It, it's actually like amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. It was super fun. It was, um, I'm glad that our, I had a really great partner um, and he was really helpful and gave me some tips and um, it was a really fun match. Before the competition, I was a little bit nervous to meet everyone, you know, and then everyone just once again so welcoming. And then after the tournament, I think we're all going to go out to eat for lunch, and then maybe we're going to see each other for dinner tonight. So, um, Connie was the U.S. champion in the women's team in which she came to the very first ever ping pong diplomacy from, you know, America and China. She signed my paddle and we talked, chit-chatted about this. Honestly, I'm very honored that I get to continue the tradition. What attracts me to the idea of, of the whole idea of ping pong diplomacy, this all started, it's a, it's a very interesting story. I think it's a good symbol. We're, we're all on the same bus, right? Americans and Chinese, we're all on the same bus. And uh, it, having these kind of people to people exchanges help remind us of that. It was extremely challenging. It was definitely very steep and there were some curves that I wasn't really prepared for. And it speaks about the history of the Great Wall. It was built by millions of people and like with so much effort and it was just like really cool to be stepping. I thought it was really uh, surprising how steep it was and how tall the stairs were. Also, I thought our tour guide was really good. He gave us so many facts about the wall and it was a very interesting experience. Uh, here in the heart of Beijing, once the, the highest point in the city, uh, I thought it'd be really fascinating for our students who maybe don't know that much about Buddhist history or Tibetan Buddhism to have a better understanding of this important cultural relic. the 
the students who we played with at Tsinghua, a lot of them we exchanged WeChats with. Um, and then a couple of them came to the banquet with us that we had after the exhibition match and then uh, hung out with us much later in the night. So that was really fun uh, and I hope we can kind of stay in touch over time. I'm very grateful to be part of this trip and uh, be able to uh, see all the different sites that China has to offer. Um, and I will take this going forward, now hopefully in a career in U.S.-China relations. So far it's been very successful and I think if this success continues, I definitely want to do this again.